How long were you homeless for? Twice for about four to five months a piece, I'd probably say. And when I say that, I don't want it to be misconstrued as if I didn't have other options. I had, so this is what I had going on. I was at the time, this was 2015, 16. I had a computer and I was recording all my friends' music. I'm really good at recording. And um, I would stay the weekend at their house and record them. And then I'll go to another person's house and record them for a couple of days. They might pay me like $40, $50. This was back then, and none of my friends knew I was homeless. At least I don't think they did. I would come and I'd crash at their crib for a couple of days recording them, and then I'd go to another person's house, and then go to another person's house, and go to another person's house. Before I looked, knew it, I looked up, I had seven or eight homies that I was doing this with, and by the time I finished that little rotation, I would call back up the other homies. They like, man, Harvey, where you at, man? We trying to record, and then, you know, I would, over there, man, I was sleeping on couches. I mean, I had dogs sleeping next to me, shitting all on the couch. Like, it was real. But that's my testimony, and that's that's what I went through. That's what I put myself through to to build me and to help show me the ropes into going into the man that I am today to be able to accomplish great things and to inspire millions of people. So would you say you were homeless by choice? Yeah, I was homeless by choice because the thing is, is I'm... I, I have to do things my way, so whether there is an option for me or not, I'm not going to take that option unless it's what I really want to do. And at that time, music is what I really wanted to pursue, and wasn't nobody telling me nothing. Wasn't nobody telling me to get a job. Wasn't nobody telling me to keep my phone on. If I could keep my phone on, I was keeping my phone on. But if I couldn't, I just wasn't going to do it. So, you know, I've never had a day job in my life. But that's not to say that I haven't been in a position where one could have been beneficial to me is just by choice. I never chose that route. Never applied for a job, never? I did apply for a job when I was 14 years old, 15. I tried to apply at Chick-fil-A when I was like 15, 16. I think I applied at like a movie theater, but I never had luck. I had even one of my homies that worked at Walmart. This was back then. He worked at Walmart and uh, he said, man, since you can't get a job, let me fill out the application for you. I I know I'll get you hired because I, I work here. He filled out the application. I still didn't get a job. I didn't, they didn't even call me. I've never been in a job interview. This is the only interview I've ever been in, bro. So do you feel like because you got turned down or declined for whatever reason, those one or two instances, was it two? Was it Chick-fil-A and a movie theater or just Chick-fil-A in a movie theater? I'm confused. Um, both. I, I applied. This was back, you know, when I was in school selling right. Hennessy out milk cartons and shit. I was applying for a job because that was the programming that I was under at the time, you know, growing up in Durham, North Carolina. But ultimately, it didn't work out for me. And at the time, I might have felt like, oh, shit, like, why, would, why wouldn't they want to hire me? Or, you know, why would they look over me? I felt like at the time when I was just young and coming up. Everybody was looking over me, and um, ultimately it, it ended up playing up in my favor because now, you know, whenever I go back home, I try to link up with my friends and things of my past and uh, past decade and all of that, and you know, can't hang with them a lot of the times because they're still in that mentality of working for somebody else. They're on Facebook doing scams, the one hundred for eight hundred dollar scam, and I mean even people that. I know that work legit jobs are like scamming on the side and they trying to get me wrapped up in a drug game. And it's just, it's crazy that, you know, even in this day and age, we in 2020, you know, we're like this close to flying cars. We still got people that are in that, that whole thing.